This could be, again, the fear of a heavy zoner with a turtle. That's the only thing I, I can think. Well, Firestorm is technically a zoner with all these uh, straight shots and these molten traps. And oh, yeah, just turtle up, bro. Turtle, turtle. That's what I'm saying. Just build that meter, man. And when you finally get in and mix, you'll have four bars to mix with. Now, that, being, that being said, you do that against Dark Side, he teleports in and full combos you. Feels bad, man. Good stuff here by Buffalo to start us off. Over 500 damage. Already. Oh my goodness! Jump in. And I think. Playing dividend. I'm okay, Buffalo. I think that was like a setup on top of a setup. Whoop. Like he knew, he knew what Nix wanted to do there. Jeez, how do you block that? This, this is so scary. Dark side in the corner. Mixing. Uh, how do you block this? You don't. Oh you gotta get goodness. yourself out of there and you try it. Are you kidding me? The boots! He's giving it to him! Be glad this is not the turtle. Yeah, so Silver actually wanted the, the revive trade at the end, which would have been clutch. He would have come back to life there at the end. But rest in peace never happened. See and loses, bro. Ooh, full meter here for Buffalo. Coming off one of meter burn rolling. Close the space. Another one! I like that immediate wake up there by Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to block that jump three either. Does not want to deal with those mix-ups again. Yo! Such a late jump two to reset that. But Buffalo all of a sudden has found his way back in and teleports right into the, the ice clone. I don't even know if that's a teleport. I have no idea. I don't know what animation that was. Jump two. What Buffalo the? Buffalo with the scramble. Did he, <laughs> did he hit him with the frying pan into the clone and it comboed? I, I think that's what happened. That was not a teleport animation he was stuck in. I don't know what happened. Do we have our, our launching interactables back? They took him out because of people like Buffalo. Are you telling me this man broke the game again? He just broke, the, he just broke the laws of injustice too right there. All right. Paulo's still watching too. Paulo, Paulo, take notes. <laughs> Paulo, disregard all of this. Okay, nice ball will get the first hit. Buffalo has a bar. Both right here does have the bar as well. About to get that back three from hell. The bitch slap. Watching his toes. Wake up clone, immediately throws it. Jump in two, overhead. And immediate down two is a disrespect by Buffalo. And I, I really, you can see the reason Buffalo picked it. Nyx cannot get away with any teleport shenanigans that he wants to. If that clone is out, he's gotta be so mindful of it. Oh, and Ooh, the, the jump three. Sweet. Yeah, got a little profile there. And did Nix just turn this into a killer combo? Jesus. Was that a jump one that turned into death? That's kind of ridiculous. He did about three jump normals in that combo. That's crazy. Oh, they're still coming. Conversions, 238. Knew exactly what Buffalo was going to do. Out on her. I grow tired of your prattle. Nix has zero meter to contest this with. Buffalo gonna spin two for 25. And a lot of jumping back there by Nix. And Bubble's got a couple of them with these slides. Oh! He says, you have a clone, I got a demon, bro. And he's coming regardless. That is plus six, I believe? That's plus a few frames there. But the pushback was not in the corner. Came back to bite Buffalo. Oh, the ice cold not working properly. Catching the back dash as well. Look at it, just swing it. Whoa. Three down threes in a row, just trying to catch Buffalo doing anything but Buffalo with the patience. Comes in. Almost four bars. Almost a super. Oh, and he takes the damage and gets the bar, but didn't have the health. Dark side wins. Nix ties it up one to one. All these matches with Buffalo are like. About 110 miles an hour.
Dark side. Sub zero. All of a sudden, one to one here. <clears throat> I want to say this is the furthest that out these guys have gotten here in season Fighters number two. Nick's, Nick's, Nick's actually may have made it this far so far, uh, in season number two so far. But they're getting some great points. And we're going to look at the points after this match and see where everyone's lining up because. <clears throat> Begin. Let's get down to the wire. There's only one more week of War of the Gods, guys. And that is it. No punish. There's no bar spent on that wake up by Nick. Teleports. Whoa, and he's going to convert off of that clone toss. Some big damage lined up here. Background bounce. Jump three. Push it to the corner. 570. Almost 600 damage off of that. That's a, that's a great master damage right there. Ooh, look at these staggers here by Holy Buffalo. Staggers. That's going to be chip, and that is a hood perfect to start us off here, Buffalo. Looking like he didn't just lose the last game. I, I don't think... Oh, that's a complete punish. Nick just committed to that. No reset. And what a call out on that teleport. Buffalo is not letting Nick do anything. What? No gimmicks today, sir. Oh my goodness! He's gonna turn off of it again. He's reacting to those teleports with the clone toss. Buffalo 2 1 over Nix. Sub Zero wins. That's there, ridiculous. There were so many crazy hitbox, hurtbox, weird crap that happened right there. You see the Sub Zero did a sweep on Dark Side's wake up, and the knee went overneath him and actually hit behind. Uh, Sub Zero, and then the clone hitting behind the teleport in the air. This this is a new age, guys. Hitboxes, hurtboxes don't actually matter. What you want to do is you want to hit the hit the indivisible frames that are out there in the skies. It, like that's that's your actual sweet spot. Nice down one break up there by Nick again. Locks a clone. That's the second down one knee. Actually, I think it might have been the third. Jump straight into Buffalo's clone. Oh, he can't break it all. The three was it was close there. At, at the end of the one, two, three there by Buffalo. And overcommitting on the slide. I mean, figured he'd just risk that. And I, I love that in the last game, Buffalo finally... It took him a long time to stop that teleport out of the corner there once the clone was out on knockdown. But next up is such a great start. We're, we might get some back-to-back -back game fives here. Let's know the chat. Let me see some ones in that chat if, if you want to see a game five. If you want to see this, go the distance. It's looking really good for Nick so far. Still on his first health bar, but goes right into the clone forward three. And avoids the wake up. Mega Beam's waiting. Parademon sitting there. Just like an ice clone. Respect Nick's giving him on the approach there. Glad this is not the tournament. Buffalo, I mean, Subzero does some grown man damage. He he gets his hands on you a couple times. He can definitely make up this deficit. Ooh, what a conversion. Oh, he's going for the big boy damage. Tap your tremendous power. I will shatter you. There were three bars on the screen, and neither of them spent one. The double overhead. I don't think that that will ever go blocked as long as that instant stop exists. Dark Not the double wins. overhead. Okay, Nick, we're going to a game five. The chat got what they wanted. So many people want to see this game number five, and we got it. We're delivering it to Dark you. Dark side. And we're going to get it. Sub zero. Sub zero on Dark side one last time. Fighters approaching the Joker's playground. Who is going to advance to play Silver Eye? The mask is off, Aquaman. And that loser's fine. Holy crap. You this, know what serious business is. So, so, yeah. We're, we're just now getting serious Buffalo. Ooh, almost had that conversion off of that stray hit. What a tricky 50-50 to get the first hit with. Similar, similar to a Hellboy where they have you know, normal, normal, and a lower overhead. And one of them launches, and the low does Nick. not. If you just have to get the first Nick. hit, that's that's pretty cheeky. Plus frame. 
James down one into clone. Well, conversion. Yeah, that actually could have been some great damage there. Look how much meter. Can we talk about some sort of a meter building machine real quick? To be fair, he needs it for pretty much anything he wants. You know, the plus frames or the damage. Oh, Whoa, my goodness. Convert on that. The use of that was absolutely astounding. And that's going to be a punish for the down two attempt. And he could turn this around. He's going to come off the bar. He's going to kill them. Would that, would that even come off the bar? So close. Oh, no. Down one. Next, teleported out of the corner. Okay. 21 hit points. Buffalo literally needs just anything to hit. Almost lit it. Whoa. That was close. I do not I thought he was going to land in that clone. Oh, and he stayed crouching so smart there by Buffalo. Tap your tremendous power. I will shatter you. Nice down two by Buffalo. Makes air tech out and immediate down two. Doesn't have the bar to continue that combo. Air demons out. Gonna save him, but jumps into the ice clone. This is still pretty even. Yes, Health four bars. No way! And just knew it! The buff! He knew it! Had a feeling that Nyx would try something, anything. Not plus enough to guarantee much, but the down one is, and now oh. it can combo into that. And combo down with the hammer! Buffalo! Three to two! And we're seeing the Buffalo that got third place in season number one. Coming in here at the end of the series, looking to sneak his way into that finale. But still, 